In this lab, we will be determining the heats of reactions of magnesium and magnesium oxide turning, as shown. Plus, we have the third no reaction, which will help us determine the third reaction. We will use Hess's law, which is the summation of enthalpy changes for three reactions, to help find the heat of reaction of the desired chemical reaction. And this lab is quite simple, but take note that recording the temperature of the occurring reaction while stirring the cup will require a bit of multitasking. And some tips beforehand is to write out in the lab notebook what you will be recording prior to going to lab. This way, when you go into lab, you'll just need to briefly look over your procedures and immediately start the experimentation. First off, you want to wear on your safety equipment, including safety goggles, lab aprons, and latex gloves. You will be dealing with 3 molar hydrochloric acid, so extra precaution is needed to avoid exposing this chemical to your skin or eyes. Accurately weigh the dry calorimeter and add the 50 milliliters of hydrochloric acid to the cup. Now also pre-weigh your magnesium turning. Once you have pre-weighed your magnesium turnings, record the temperature of your calorimeter and wait 5 minutes, which will be the latent period. And this will be your initial temperature. Now we get to the exciting part. Add the magnesium turnings to your calorimeter and immediately close the lid. Start the timer immediately and also begin stirring your solution. Record the temperature every 10 seconds until a maximum temperature is reached. And for an additional 5 minutes, record the temperature every 30 seconds. Make sure you record that temperature to the nearest hundreds place. As you can see, the temperature will increase rapidly, so be prepared. Quickly and precisely record your data. Once the reaction is completely finished, remove the lid, stirrer, and thermometer and record the weight of your dry calorimeter with the solution at the balance station. Now thoroughly clean your calorimeter and conduct your next two trials. The same procedure goes for the magnesium oxide turning but do not retrieve the magnesium oxide until you are officially ready to place them into the calorimeter. The magnesium oxide is a light powder and if left on the countertop for a period of time, the air currents can spread the content and you will have a loss in mass and a mess. Overall, after you have finished your experimentation, make sure to dispose all of your solutions in the waste beaker into the halogenated waste container. In order to get the change in temperature, you will need to graph your results in order to determine the final temperature. A majority of the points have to intersect the best fit line, but if your software makes a line of best fit like the second example, it is incorrect, so draw the best fit line by hand. Watch your significant figures when you're doing your calculations in your lab report, and overall, good luck with your experiment and have fun!